Hi friends, today I will teach you regarding the endometriosis. So what is the endometriosis? It means the presence of endometrial tissue outside the uterus which should not be present there. But it's present outside the uterus and then that's why it is called endometriosis. So let's start the discussion. Now wherever this endometrial tissue is get deposit, deposited, you can able to see the endometrial glands or stroma. You know that endometrium is made up of glands and stroma. So you can able to see the endometrial glands or endometrial stroma, blue colored endometrial stroma. Uh, there can be presence of hemorrhage as well. So if two of these three criteria is present, then your diagnosis will be endometrial. So because of presence of this endometrial gland is present around the fibrous tissue, it will give the appearance like it is embedded in the fibrous stroma. So this was the case. The endometrial glands are embedded in the fibrous stroma. This is the fibrous stroma and this is the endometrial glands and this is the endometrial stroma blue color. So it's embedded in the fibrous stroma. We will inspect the other fields as well. Uh, this, is, this is also the endometriosis. You can able to see the glands as well as the endometrial lining here the lining is also present and this is the endometrial stroma all are embedded in a fibrous stroma uh, this is the high power view of the endometriosis the gland is embedded in fibrous stroma so this is regarding the endometriosis now you should know that which are the common sites uh, practically speaking the endometriosis can develop in any organ it can then get deposited in the any organ but the common sites are ori then the uterine ligaments then rectovaginal septum then pelvic peritoneum uh, sometimes it can develop in the scar and lymph node as well so why o ovary and the uterine ligaments all are in common sites uh, that's because the endometriosis is thought to be developed the one hypothesis is that that it can develop because of retrograde menstruation and the another theory is metaplasia the common accepted theory is the retrograde menstruation and that's why these are the common sites the patient can present with uh, pelvic pain actually uh, this was a case of the biopsy from the 42 year female patient uh, that was developed endometriosis uh, from the lower caesarean section scar so this was the case of scar endometriosis now if you will not treat this case then what will happen the treatment can be medical or surgical so if you will not treat then it can undergo metaplasia and sometimes it can undergo atypical change and carcinoma can develop from this endometriosis foci it has been observed that endometrial stromal sarcoma then malignant mixed mullerian tumor, endometrioid carcinoma, clear cell carcinoma are associated with uh, such endometriosis case. That's why it should be treated. And whenever in ultrasonography uh, such endometriosis is suspected, it should be sent for histopathological examination to confirm the diagnosis. So that's regarding the endometriosis. So just remember three, three things, endometrial gland and stroma, or hemorrhage embedded in the fibrous stroma. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making the diagnosis of endometriosis. If you find if you found the video helpful, then subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified. Thank you very much.